standing here today to express that the gift of the Holy Spirit into which can be given may not cease to exist until Jesus comes. There is great confusion in 1 Corinthians 13 and 8 through 12 when they say that knowledge will pass away. But in fact, knowledge in today's time is greater than ever. There is a difference between real prophets and false prophets. And that is what this episode is all about. In Hebrew 1 and 1 through 2, shall we escape if we neglect such a great salvation? It was declared at first by the Lord, and it was attested to us by those who heard, while God also bore witness by signs, wonders, various miracles, and by the gift of the Holy Spirit, distributed, dis distributed according to His will. The gift of the Holy Spirit in Hebrew 1 and 1 through 2, distributed according to His will in various of ways and wonders. Shall we not deny that the gifts of the Holy Spirit is not in today's time also? The confusion of the end of the gifts of the Holy Spirit is when they state in 1 Corinthians 13 and 8 through 12 that knowledge will pass away, when in fact knowledge is greater than ever. Here is 1 Corinthians 13 and 8 through 12. Love never ends. As for prophecies, they will pass away. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part, and we will prophesy in part, but when the perfect comes, the partial will pass away. Thus for knowledge exists better than ever. So far, and the partial has not passed until Jesus comes, to which they refer in perfect. Thus, you must understand also of when the gifts of the Holy Spirit are presented in multiple scriptures, including Hebrew 1 and 1 through 2, and many more, you must understand that the fruits of the Spirit exist, yet be warned between a true and a false prophet. Second Peter 3 and 9. So he sends the Holy Spirit to convict us. Even though the Holy Spirit is invisible, we can observe the fruits of the Spirit. In Matthew 7 and 19 through 20. Every tree that does not bear fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus, by their fruit, you will recognize them. 1 Thessalonians 5 and 21 through 22. Test everything. Hold on to the good and avoid any kind of evil. Personally, in my opinion, you cast out evil. And there's four ways to cast evil out. You cleanse it, you fix it, you correct it, you remove it. In Matthew, Deuteronomy, Samuel, and Corinthians, they warn to be aware of false prophets. Yet the true prophets will align with the word of God. Ephesians 4 and 11 through 13. It was he, to which they are referring to God, it was he who gave some to be apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers to prepare God's people for works of service, so that their body of Christ may be built up until we all reach unity in faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God and become mature, attaining to the whole measure of 
of the fullness of Christ. In Colossians 1 and 9, For this reason also, since the day we heard of it, we have not ceased to pray for you, to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding. So thus, in Colossians 1 and 9, does that contradict the confusion of the understanding of 1 Corinthians 13 and 8 through 10, 8 through 12? You must understand that God has an individual relationship and bond with his creations. Yet we must also understand to test, to know if it is good. For the fruits of the Spirit can be tested. As stated in Matthew 7 and 19 through 20. And we pray that we will be filled with the knowledge of his will and all spiritual wisdom and understanding. If you are confused, always pray and ask for understanding. Because God can have a special bond with his creations. Angels are messengers of God. And they speak of the understanding how there is different types of spirits in 2 Peter and 3 and 9. And so he sends the Holy Spirit to convict us. Even though the Holy Spirit is invisible, we may observe the fruit of the Spirit. And thus test the spirits to know if they are good, to know of their fruit. Hebrew 1 and 1 through 2. How shall we escape if we neglect such great salvation? It was declared at first by the Lord and attested to us of those who heard, while God also bore witness by signs, wonders, various miracles, and by the gift of the Holy Spirit distributed according to his will. So remember that it will be according to his will. The prophet is a real prophet. It will align with the word of God if the prophet is a real prophet. So understand that there are false prophets, but yet there also are real prophets as well. Stay healthy and invest wisely. By the way, writing a letter to Mrs. Deborah, and this will be included in the letter to Mrs. Deborah. Excellent processing.